What a problem needs is a solution. But before it's a solution, it's a crazy idea. My name is Kyle Sheely. Kyle Sheely. Kyle Sheely. Kyle Sheely. Kyle Sheely. Please put your hands together for Kyle Sheely. I'm an author, speaker, and a champion of crazy ideas. I believe that every one of us has the capacity to innovate, to create, and to come up with ideas that make the world take notice. Over the last decade, my work has been featured in outlets like Fast Company, Wired, The Washington Post, Yahoo, BuzzFeed, Upworthy, Goalcast, the list goes on. Whether it's having a Viking funeral for the regrets of 21,000 people, inviting 37,000 strangers to sing Don't Stop Believing, or gaining a million followers on TikTok in just 25 hours, I've seen firsthand how crazy ideas can produce wildly outsized results. So I decided to hold the world's first fake marathon. We would all go outside on the same day and take pictures of ourselves pretending to run. It was a crazy idea, but in the end, 34,477 people signed up, which technically makes us bigger than the Boston Marathon. But the coolest thing wasn't the number of people that signed up. It was what they did with the idea. People posted pictures of themselves carb loading. They posted fake running videos that looked convincingly miserable. An off-duty paramedic set up his ambulance as a fake first aid station, which turned out to be a good idea because there were loads of fake injuries. People made signs to cheer on their friends. They set up water stations for the runners, and they simulated multiple fake finish lines. What we found was that when you give people room to be creative, they will rise to that challenge. But so often we don't do that because we believe a lie. We believe this myth that says, well, some people are creative and some people aren't. And there's just nothing you can do to change that. But that's not true. The best organizations create an environment where everyone is allowed to be creative. Not just the marketing team, not just the C-suite, but the receptionist and the custodian and the intern who just started yesterday. Because what those companies recognize is that each and every one of those people has a unique and valuable perspective, which means that they might be seeing a side of the business and the customer and the opportunity and the market that you literally can't even see from where you're sitting. The solution to the problem that keeps your CEO up at night, it probably already exists inside your organization. But right now, it's just a crazy idea inside the head of someone on your team. And we have to create an environment where ideas like that get found, they get validated, they get resourced, and they get rewarded. All of a sudden, you stop playing catch up with your competitors. And you stop losing your best people to those competitors because now you've created a place where those people feel seen. They feel heard. They feel valued and listened to. And they feel like, this is a place where I can affect change. And this is a place where my ideas are built upon and supported and made better by the people around me. And where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Why would I ever leave a place like that? Creativity goes up, innovation goes up, morale goes up, all with your existing team. And just a few simple changes. Here's how we do it. I had somebody stop me on their way out earlier to tell me this was the best speaker they've ever had. He didn't say the best speaker that we have ever had, but the best speaker that he has ever heard. See, creativity isn't just for the chosen few. It's for all of us. It's for the manager who has to find new ways to inspire her direct reports, even in a time of resource constraints. It's for the shop foreman who finds a way to shave 20 minutes off the manufacturing time of a product by reconfiguring the assembly line. It's for that 22-year-old who is trying to prove herself in her new job. And it's for the 62-year-old whose decades of experience provide a perspective that you just cannot get any other way. And if we can create a place where all of those people have a seat at the table, where all of them are listened to, where all of them are valued, where all of their ideas are built upon, then you will tap into a depth of creativity that I don't think you can even begin to imagine. I don't know about you, but to me, that's a pretty crazy idea.